All right, 22nd of September. A little shout out to Visa Cattle Company. Uh, I have no idea what time of day it is. It's afternoon. Uh, all in good fun. But uh, here we are. We got some cattle in the pins finally. Uh, just I bought this on my uh, vacation back in June. Um, it's pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, just slicing bales. Does exactly what I wanted it to do. But along with that shout out, if you guys uh, guys are looking for a good channel, go watch Beezer Cattle Company. He's uh he's always giving lots of shout outs, so give a shout out to him, which I'm sure everyone who watches me watches him, so just makes me look better saying that. But no really, if you uh, go watch him. Good good channel. Real wholesome channel. So uh, this is kind of my goofball pen. Uh, we just pulled all these cattle off the grass today. They were just, uh, it's what we've been buying throughout July. Um, late, late, late June, all through July is what we were buying. And just kicked them out on grass because it was too dusty in the pens for them. They were getting sick. So, um, these are just the oddballs. Like, I've got one in here never even been branded got one over there hadn't been branded this little girl here i bought back in the spring and i don't know how she's not dead but you know she made it through so she's doing better there's my new calf but here's the main point these are the ones we sorted up and weighed these calves are right about 490 some of them are over five some of them are a little less uh, I think there's 43 or 45 in here, and then I got 48 in the next pan. You know, they're all that that weight. I just split them in half. I didn't want to put them all in one pan because they'll just be crawling through the bunks. Um, as you can see, I mean, I'm just putting hay down. I'm a little spread out because I was going kind of a little fast, I guess, but they are going to be eating hay for the next couple days until I start getting a load of silage in either Monday or Tuesday and then they will go on the ration these calves have the option to either go into wheat or staying on feed all until like January until they should be done um, kick this over there I'm sure though they may be half and half Um, real framey, you know, they look like, look like they got a lot bigger, look like they're bigger than they actually are, but like that Charlet really will pull the weight down. Uh, then there's these calves. These are my 380 to 400s. Um, these are my rough ones. These are the ones that, you know, pot bellied and, and stuff like that. Um, that's what they are. Uh, they're just, their hair isn't slicked yet. You know, they're just rougher calves. Been talking to a couple people who bought cattle at the same time as me and exact same issues. You know, like one guy's got about a thousand head of them that he bought. He was going to sell them as preconditioned cattle, and they just, uh, they aren't, they aren't where they need to be. Just like these calves, you know, these calves are healthy. They're ready, they're ready for food. Um, we're just dry. That's their problem. We are on dry, and they were on dry grass, and that's what their concern is. They had a rough start, um... But that's kind of what we're seeing right now is these calves coming in. They're just having a hard time. It's hot and dry for the most part. Some places are getting rain. Some aren't. Uh, honestly, I think some of the places are getting rain are just having just as much trouble. But so I wouldn't sell them as preconditioned calves, even though they probably could go as that because they just look a little rough. Now, that being said, some people... Some people want a rougher calf because uh, a good, a good healthy calf, 
but it's a little rougher because they're not fat and you're not buying fat you're buying frame to grow so you know these ones probably would do it a, a decent but i wouldn't be happy selling them because you know like him he's he's rough he's sunken in the back still seeing some ribs but yeah so that's kind of what's up with them which they're not dead so that's a plus we'll go through these other kids we'll just cross in over here at the at the water tank um check some of these little these bigger kids out Now these calves, better condition. They're not so pot-bellied. You know, they're full. But they got, you know, their weight is matching their frame a little bit better. And I think, I really think all these calves are really going to just, just blossom on feed. But we will see. Uh... I don't think I'll have too much trouble with the dust in here. I hope not. I guess I'll find out. But I hope not. Hopefully that's not such an issue. But we'll see. Like, I didn't clean all these pins. I only cleaned next to the bunk here and on these pins because these are new pins. And I wanted to leave a little manure off the rest of it. So, because the manure won't blow and turn to dust as bad as just regular topsoil that will really turn to powder so um kind of leave something a little bit harder in here see how they do there's a few really nice herefords in here a few really nice baldies there's some eared calves in here but for the price of them it, it was a pretty good deal um, but actually, I'd actually like to see a full pan of just, you know, good quality Herefords. Some of these wouldn't, wouldn't make that good quality mark, but <coughs> they would, uh, they'd be okay. If you had an entire pan of them, they'd look nice. Or, uh, good, just regular good black baldy calves. A whole pan of ham would be nice. You know, they're... They're not the primo genetics, that's for sure. You're not, <laughs> you're not getting the, you're not getting the, the quality. Uh, but you're getting a lot of them. So, as long as they make money, that's kind of what we're hoping for this year. Uh, really, if I can make money on the, the next two sets of calves, and set that's still on grass and get back to uh, break even I'd be a pretty happy person honestly kind of get back to zero um, I think these ones will will do that for me as long as some catastrophe doesn't happen I think they will do a pretty decent job but there's a long time before they're ready to sell and who knows? I did hedge these cattle. So really they just need to gain weight efficiently and you know, nothing weird happened with them. They should be okay. You know, in my luck the market's gonna go way, way up and you know, I'll be on margin calls all the time and but they're at least they're at least locked in, because who knows? You know, right now it's really if you whether this market's going to go up or keep going up or it's going to go back down. And it seems like the past several years we uh, we haven't done too hot come January and February, usually when I have a lot of cattle ready to go. So I just went ahead and locked them in. That way we'll see what happens. But I think they'll do okay. I've got a bunch of other calves on grass that are going to be a little light that may go to wheat. So these calves may just stay on feed. But we weighed them, which you saw that little clip, uh, or a little bit of it. I didn't film just one little 
bunch of them. But we did weigh them, and we'll be able to see what our our feed efficiency is on them when we take them off feed. So, all right, I'll leave you there. It's ten minutes. So thanks for watching.